Welcome back, and today I will be walking you through the process of getting all skills and also being able to like adjust your money in American Truck Sim. So mainly, step one is to have launched the game at least once. Okay, cool. And then once you have the game open, uh, you just want to close the game. <laughs> so now that it has created a save file on your PC, step two is to go to this tool, which I will have linked in the description. It's basically Truck Simulator Save Editor Tool, TS Set. Okay, once the tool is downloaded, we're gonna create a folder on our desktop and we're just gonna name it like ATS Tool. Take everything from inside of here and extract it into the folder. We can go ahead and launch the tool here. Now, you can just OK through the little splash. It's going to yell at you. Uh, this tool is for both ETS2 and ATS. So if you don't have like Euro Trucking Sim downloaded, don't worry about it. Just hit OK. It'll go to the back, bring it back up to the front. So in the top right here, we're going to want to go ahead and click on ATS. This should bring up your profiles. If you see here this little S, that means it is a Steam profile. So we go ahead and s s uh, change our save just to auto save. Make sure it's on your proper profile. And before touching anything to do with this, what we're going to want to do is go into Steam here, go up to the top right hand corner, go to your Steam settings, go to Cloud and Steam Cloud. This we're going to want to go ahead and turn off just for the time being. We don't want any of the Steam Cloud properties to be messing with our save. Next, we have everything selected here. We want to change it to autosave. We're going to go ahead and click the decrypt button. This tool really doesn't work for ATS. At least I haven't been able to figure it out. Um, for some reason, there should just be a button here to go ahead and load it. But it just keeps saying disable Steam Cloud. No matter how much I try, this tool never properly works for ATS for me. I'm not sure why. Once we go ahead and decrypt our file, we're going to go ahead and click the open folder button. This is going to open up the autosave folder within ATS's files. We're going to want to go to game.sii, open it with notepad, and in here you will see the ability to change literally anything. First, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through changing skills. So we're going to press control F on our keyboard and it's going to bring up the find button. All we're going to want to do here is type the word long and press enter. What that does is it brings us down to this list of factors here. You're going to want to go ahead and copy all of these from ADR down to mechanical. So ADR is going to be your uh, hazardous cargo. Setting that to 63 unlocks all six. I spent hours trying to find the proper number with no rhyme or reason, just randomly searching. So 63 gets you all six hazardous cargo. Long underscore dist is your long distance. Setting that to six puts you at all six. Same with heavy, which for some reason is high value cargo. And then fragile is fragile. Urgent is your just in time deliveries. And then mechanical down here at the bottom is your fuel economy. Setting all of these to six, actually any number one through six gets you one through six points in that category. And for ADR, any number you enter here gets you a random combination of hazardous cargo. I think the max I saw once I hit like, it was like 43,000 I randomly tried and it just went back to zero. So you can punch whatever numbers in here and just play around with it if you feel like it. But once you have all of these things changed, we're gonna go up to the top left-hand corner where it says file. You're gonna hit save and then click the X here or just over there. And technically, that's all it takes. We would, oh, then we can open back up ATS. And once we are back within ATS, and if we click career and skills, you will see we are just completely maxed out. Now we're going to go ahead and edit our money. That's always fun, isn't it? Seeing our cash. So while you are in ATS, I want you to go ahead and either open up the notes app on your phone, find a notepad, write it now, write it down. I don't care what it takes. Take your current total here. I have 743,291. 
I want you to take the whole thing, no matter what you have. No dollar sign and no comma. Just whatever the numbers are, put them all in a row. Write that down because it's going to become important to us later. We're going to go ahead and quit out, quit out of ATS. We're going to go back into our Save Editor tool here. Now, since we reopened the game, we're just going to have to swap around between these two. I believe you can also get the same thing just by switching between Auto Save back to the Auto Save thing. We're going to hit Decrypt again, reopen the folder. We're going to go into Games.app. SII. Here we're going to press Control F again. We're going to go ahead and delete long in the search bar and take your cash amount, the number with no commas and no dollar sign. So I had 743291, not I. And we're just going to go ahead and press Enter. That should bring us here to bank, nameless, and then money account. This right here is your specific cash amount. That is how much money your character has. Because if you just type in the word money, you get all sorts of options. You have gas pump money debt, you have money account for yours, and then there's all sorts of different money options. All of these money options here, these are all for transports, then they're also for your different AI truckers because those are also saved here in your save file. So when you're at money under account and you see the number that matches perfectly with what you have, you can go ahead and update that. Like I'll update mine to, we'll call it 85,000 or 854,329. Pick a random number, file, click save, or you can use control S if you're a shortcut king. Close back out of everything. And yes, we're going to close down the application because we are completely finished with it at this point. Go back to wherever you have your games, open up ATS. Once you load back into the game and your AMD software disappears, you will see up in the top right hand corner that your cash value has changed. Now, the final step is to go ahead and just quit ATS one last time. We're going to go ahead back into Steam. Up at the top left hand corner, click Steam. Go to settings, go to cloud, and then turn back on your Steam cloud. Now, the next time that you go ahead and open up ATS, it will sync back to the Steam cloud, overwriting whatever save you already have at the Steam cloud, and your saves from here on out will have full skills and whatever cash value you decide to give yourself. If you have any other questions about anything, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, and yeah. That's really it. Have a good one.